I'm going to be showing you how to make hundreds of thousands of gold an hour being a fruit seller in Dragon's Dogma 2. And yes, this does work in reverse if you find a good shop or location with desert fruit. With that being said, I originally saw this on Kibbles Gaming, and I'm going to be showing you how to do this early on in the game with basically no requirements. And at the end, I'll be explaining how you could take this up a notch and get to around 300,000 gold an hour. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to buy out all of the grapes and the apples in this shop. And of course, the faster you do it, the better. I just spent a considerable amount of money, but you have to think of it this way. If I min-max what I just did, that is me making 3,000 gold already. That is crazy. So go to Melv and go to Rune's Apothecary because he will sell grapes and apples. We are then going to head outside and we are going to sit. And at this point, we are going to doze off. And you're just going to spam the triangle button and watch that night cycle there. And as soon as we get to night, we're going to wait until it's morning again. We need daytime. Doesn't matter if you do an extra one because you're going to have to do this every day. You're going to be doing it. We're going to get up and we're going to go in and we're going to buy fruit. Now, as we are doing this, remember the fruit in your inventory. I always, I always do that. The fruit in your inventory is actually ripening. Now, what does that mean? Ripe fruit sells for even more. You'll see that when we get to it. We're going to go ahead and sit. But remember, you can't have your fruit rot. So if you're worried about your fruit rotting, you can go and throw it into the storage. Because obviously you're going to want to do a large amount to really take full advantage of this at a time. And when in your storage, it either doesn't rot or rots slower. And I think there might be an NPC option for your pawn that makes things rot slower. I've never played with that, but I think that's a thing. Or it's some, some sort of a buff for maybe a class. I'm not entirely sure. That could be useful. If I check my inventory right now, you see nothing is actually ripe. So we're going to go ahead and sit, and I'm just going to keep going until you can see ripe, and then we'll move on to the next step. Obviously, you would do this until you're completely out of fruit, normally. Like, like, you're out of money. You would be almost out of money, just a couple hundred left. That is when you would actually stop if you're taking advantage of it. Uh, so in we go. And we are going to buy again. And we are going to buy all of it. I already just bought someone. This guy didn't mean to. I'm just going to keep it all my main guy. Purchase again. And as you can see, the price actually discounts because we've been buying so much. And then we're going to just check the inventory again. And you can see we got our first ripened. We can go ahead and just do one more pass. Four, I think five days is the limit before you get rot. So we're going to go ahead and sit. We're going to doze off. So one more day. And we get up. And we're going to head over here. And we're going to buy just one more trip for this. And at this point is where you would deposit. So if you want to keep buying, as you can see, I still have plenty of money. I could keep doing this. I'm just going for the sake of the video, going to go ahead and deposit all this. So we can go ahead and talk to him. And we are going to organize our storage, deposit, and we're going to go ahead and put all this stuff in here. Now, notice there's definitely still some stuff that isn't ripe. And preferably, you're going to have a ton, a absolute ton of ripe fruit because you're going to keep going for about five days and then put it all in there. Once you've done that, once you've got these fruit, we now need to go and take the ox cart. So we need to leave Melv. So we're going to go up north and get to this ox cart. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this ox cart to the main city, which, of course, you've all done or you're going to do because it's very, very early in the game. And the ox cart isn't there, so we're going to go ahead and await the ox cart. And this is going to be very cheap. This is something, as I said, you can do right early on. The more money you have, the more access you have. You have port crystals. This gets a lot faster because... The amount of money to teleport around, it doesn't matter. You're, you're going to be making so much money that buying stones is not an issue. So here we go. We're going to pay that 100 gold. That's nothing. And we're going to go ahead and sit down. And we're going to, again, this is going to look familiar. We're going to doze off. The issue with this one is we might get interrupted along the way. So we did not get interrupted, so that's luck. And once we get off this ox cart, 
what we're looking for is this ox cart. So now, once we're in the main city, as I said, you can do this right off the bat. We're going to head down to this other ox cart. And when we get there, uh, we're probably going to have to wait again because obviously it's, it's not the right time of day. Here's the ox cart. Yes, he's not taking any passengers. I don't know if there's a, a, a wait. There it is. I was wondering where the wait thing was. There it is. I've never actually used the wait thing for this one, so I just, my eyes must have went past it. So we await the ox cart. And now we turn around, and he is right here. So we pay him. It's going to cost you 200 A little pricey. It's fine. We're going to get up here. We're going to sit. And once it lets you, we're going to doze off again. So we doze off. Now, this one has a bad habit of getting interrupted. If it does, we'll deal with that. We got interrupted. What is it? Oh, nothing to worry about. It's fine. I'll just let my auto attacks deal, basically my auto attack deal with it. These are a little far away for that. That's quite a bit of stunning power. So then that's enough for this cart, because I don't think that counts. We can get on. Oh, maybe I do have to defeat it. They got it. All right. We good now? All right, so now we're good. Maybe we are. Where's the enemy at? Jeez. Are we good now? That's a lot of enemies. All right, we're just going to... This is the longest one I've seen in a while. All right, so... There's your experience, I guess, if you... uh are doing it this way. Definitely make sure if you're using the carts that you try to do a max amount of fruit just to make it worth your while for any hindrances like that. I think that you might make some money doing that too from them. So here we go. And we are at Checkpoint Rest Town. Now there's a certain wandering merchant we're looking for. And if I don't see him, we're just going to rest. That is not him. And that is not him either. I believe he's a Beastrian. Um, that's not him either. All right, so we're going to have to wait, which is fine. If you wanted to, you could go ahead and get uh, some ripened fruit, some fruit that's not ripe out, and do a couple more rests and, until it gets ripe. But we're just going to go ahead and do this. We're going to see, is he here? Doesn't look like it. So this is why it's kind of annoying if you don't have the, uh, the port crystals. If you have the port crystals, all you have to do, instead of waiting for this guy, is go to the city down here. And you can just port into here. There's no port crystal. You have to put out your own portable one here. Port in and sell it to anyone here, and you would get a better price for all your fruit. But... We're going to assume you don't have that. So what we're doing is we're going to be here and we're just going to be awaiting. And what we're looking for is this one Bistrian merchant because he buys things at the price that they would in the other city. We'll just spam this for a little bit. He stays for a few days when he makes it, so we don't have to be exact. All right, let's see if he's he pops in. Not yet. And we'll just keep waiting. And 
in the one more day. Get up. Take a look. There he is. Hey, buddy. So then you see this guy, and we talk to him. And if you look at what he's selling, he has the Beastrian mask, which you might need for other reasons. And what we're going to do is we are going to run in and grab our fruit. So we run in and we grab our fruit. We go to buy. And I'll go to storage, withdraw. And we're going to take all of these, all of these, all of these, and all of these. So I'm heavy. doesn't matter. And as you can see, I didn't really... I could have I could have got 100 of each. I didn't fill up. So we're going to go down. And we find him. And when we go to sell... Look at the price of that apple. That is 350 gold for an apple. 350 gold for ripened grapes. 170 for an apple. 170 for grapes. And we can just rest and make them worth this amount. That is crazy. So let's go ahead and sell these. And already... I started with 2,000 gold when I started buying. And I still have these left. We can cancel this. And as I said, you can you can just wait until all of this is right if we want it. So we're just going to wait another day. He should still be here. If he leaves, it doesn't really matter because we can just go and take whatever fruit we have left over. Chuck that into the storage and then repeat this whole cycle and just have more ripe next time. There's nothing there. Hate that. Let me get up on accident. Do another cycle. I also hate this pawn. I hate the way he looks at me. I replaced him because I had the pawn that... Oh, there we go. There's 15. I had the pawn that automatically combines items, and I was afraid he would combine these. So we can go ahead and sell to him again. And look at that. 25, 25. And if I want, because it's not worth the wait, go ahead and sell that. And at this point, I just more than doubled my money. And I can go all the way back to Melv. All I have, all I can do at this point is I can take the ox cart, go all the way back to here, and I can take it all the way up to Melv, and I can buy more, and I can take those ox cart back. And remember, if I actually had spent all the money I had, I would have made a ton, a ton, a ton of money. Now, if you really want to speed this up, what you can do is put a port crystal, a portable one. Like, I have mine right here to farm bosses. I could put one right here, run in, grab my fruits, and sell. Then I could have a second one, if I had a second one. I could put it right here at Melv. I could have it right here and go buy fruit and repeat right here. Or, if I don't have a second one, I can teleport to here. And then just take this ox cart. And I know what some people might be thinking. Well, isn't that going to cut into your profits? It's only 20,000 gold per trip. If you are making, you know, if you have 100 ripe apples. Let's say you have 100 ripe, ap ripe apples and 100 non-ripe apples. 100 ripe grapes, 100 non-ripe grapes. We're looking at how much? Uh, actually, let me do that math real quick. Because we buy for 50. And let's say we're selling for 350. That is 300, I don't want to say it wrong, times 200. That is 60,000 right there. So you're not caring about the 20,000. But that's not even considering the fact that you can double up and you can have that amount also in the unripe and then take the unripe and ripen them and also sell them. So we're talking 120,000 per trip, 20,000 to get there. So you're, the speed you're saving, the amount of time you're saving definitely makes it worth way more money. But I wanted to show it actually how you would do it from the start with a low amount of money because a lot of people are going to see the method and see, oh, I have to, you know, other people are going to cover it, not just Kibbles Gaming. And they're going to be like, oh, here's, I have to go all the way down here and get this set up. Or maybe they'll watch Kibbles Gaming and be like, well, that looks easy, but maybe in real time it's really difficult. It's not. It's super easy. The hardest part is waiting for this guy to come. That's it. As you saw in this video, that was the most, like, annoying part. And there's a chance that when you come here, he's already waiting for you. Pretty awesome. I'm going to be taking advantage of this, probably. I've got some armor I'm wanting to buy, specifically down in the Beast area. Um, I'll probably do a video on that armor later. I think other people have already covered it. It looks really good. It'll probably get your pawns hired, especially if they're female. And it's a boost for my mage and my sorcerer. 
but it's expensive. Hopefully this video helps you out.